Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician, and on this video, we're gonna get an introduction onto what system of equations are, and how we can find the solution to a system. Now before we get into how to find the solution of a system of equations, I think we first need to define what is a system of equations. So let's go ahead and write out a quick definition on what a system of equations is. And that definition is a set of two linear equations working together. And what we want to do is when we have these two equations, what we're trying to figure out is what is the solution that will fit both of those equations. So let's go ahead and look at two separate linear equations that are working together. The first one we'll look at is y equals 2x plus 1. And the other equation we'll take a look at is y equals negative 3x plus 6. These are two separate linear equations, but when we have them working together, then we call this a system of equations. It's a system because there are two equations now that are working together. Now, when we want to solve this, our goal for this is that we want to end up with a solution that is an ordered pair. And an ordered pair, remember, is just finding your x, y coordinate. So what we're trying to do with this is that we have these two equations and we want to find the solution, the x and the y, that will satisfy both equations. So let's look at one way we could do this. I've already taken these two equations and I've graphed them on the same set of axes. Now here we can see that this red line is the equation y equals 2x plus 1. I see that this graph is starting here at plus 1 and the slope of this graph is up to over 1. So this is definitely that red equation. Same with our blue equation here. I see that our starting point is at positive 6. Up here I see that at plus 6. Our slope here is negative 3. So that means I go down 3 over 1. I see that is the slope that's matching that blue line. Now the solution for a system of equations, if you graph it, it's actually the point where those two lines intersect. I'm going to go ahead and write that down so it makes sense for you that the solution to these two equations is actually where those lines intersect. So for this problem, I had y equals 2x plus 1, I had y equals negative 3x plus 6, and we can see that these two lines are intersecting right here at the point 1 comma 3. That is what we would call the solution to this system. It is the point that will end up satisfying both equations. And let's show you how that works. So I know here that this is my x, this is my y. Let's go ahead and take that first equation, y equals 2x plus 1. And let's go ahead and substitute x for 1 and see if we get 3 as our y. So I'm going to change this 2 here to be a 1. And let's see if we end up getting a 3. Well, I think 2 times 1 makes 2. Bring down the plus 1, and 2 plus 1 ends up equaling 3. So hopefully it's starting to click for you that when I put that 1 in, I end up getting a 3 as the output. Okay, that means that that is a solution to that equation. But we're trying to see if it's a solution to both equations. So let's go ahead and take our other equation, y equals negative 3x plus 6. And let's now substitute in that x value of 1. So I change that x to be a 1. Well, let's see, negative 3 times 1 becomes just negative 3. I bring down the plus 6. And negative 3 plus 6 ends up as positive 3. We see that we end up with the exact same output with the same input of 1. That is how you know that 1, 3 is the solution for these two equations. Now, this is an example 
of solving a system of equations by graphing. Now, we also can solve it algebraically, and there are actually three different methods we can use to solve this, because sometimes we won't be able to graph it out, or sometimes when you graph it out, that point won't be on an exact number. It might be a decimal, it might be a fraction. So it might be more helpful for us to solve it algebraically. And so that's what we're gonna look at in the next couple of videos, is how we can take these same system of equations here and solve it algebraically. All right, guys, it's That Math Magician, and I'll see you on the next video.